Isaiah Smith with the carry, finding a crease and a big run to start here for Smith. A lot of transfers from the D1 level and also from the junior college level as well. Yeah, and I think, you know, Braden Smith is the guy that you've really got to watch for, too. A good tackler, good physical missed one there. But a guy that uh, defensively for Western Illinois is the guy that uh, you've got to be aware for very physical safety. Offensively and defensively. Schuster rolling, dumping it across the middle. Quincy Vaughn, high stepping at the five, and Vaughn charging towards the goal line, brought down just short. Less than a half yard, and Vaughn this time plunges across, and he's in for the touchdown. 5th rushing touchdown this season, the 13th in his career, and it's what he's becoming known for in the Missouri Valley. Empty formation here for the Fighting Hawks. Schuster to Belquist, right in stride across the middle, and another high hurdle. Is the tailback here on 1st and 10. Zebarth with the carry, good run up the middle. Zebarth lowering the shoulder at the 23-yard line, and a big run there. They just get the playoff, and Rompo's going to run. Rompo dashing to the outside, pushed out of bounds at the five-yard line. Rompo remains in the game, and he's going to run it again. Rompo finding room, touchdown! Dakota, and you get those lead blockers right up front for you, and then Rompo's able to use his speed. Great blocking up front. You know, continue to keep drives alive just like that. Red Wilson is also now back out of the locker room. A little swing out pass to Parker. Look at the move by Parker. Just jitterbugging up and down the field and finally scampers out of bounds at the 45-yard line of North Dakota. So Western Illinois, a couple of positive plays, and Glass was absolutely buried. Wyatt Pedigo shooting the gap. By his lonesome here out of the shotgun on second and 10. Hanging in there, firing across the middle, right in stride, and Jack Wright makes the catch. Schuster trying to set up a screen, and Skopna hit immediately and taken down. Excellent play by Anthony Quinney. Pressure coming, Schuster trying to get away, and is able to, and now he's going to run. Schuster to the 35, down to the 31, and I think he's got enough for a first down. He did a nice job, another, another first down and just an easy pitch and catch play for North Dakota. Schuster again, floating it up, Kupfer! He's got it! Touchdown! Oh no, he's down at the one. Inside, yes, so Schuster's gonna keep it. Schuster trying to put a shake on a man! Tommy Schuster, sweet feet, touchdown! He was able to make guys miss on the one to be able to pick up the, the first down and then here too. And we've seen this a couple times this year too where he's able to use his athletic ability, make guys miss and get in for the touchdown. An argument. I, I think he does too. And it's, you know, that's one of the plays you give your guy a chance. Man coverage. Another flag. And you saw how close North Dakota was to blocking the first punt. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't try that again. Delayed handoff and room up the middle. Choquette. Maneuvering his way actually got really close to a first down this program very talented quick toss intercepted What a play to start the second half touchdown Ted Mullen <laughs> What a read by Ted Mullen Sitting in the flats right there knowing this play's coming pick six for the leader of this football team, what a great read. Jumps that route. Pick six. And Morrissey pleading with A.J. Coons to get a block on Mullen. And oh, he has all the tools. Yeah, absolutely. The athletic ability, the speed. Oh, it's a fake. <laughs> oh, how about that, Western Illinois going to the bag of tricks. Zebarth gets the call again, and Zebarth really good blocking up front as he puts his foot in the ground and gets upfield. And they've got some really talented guys down there. Zebarth again cutting to the outside. Zebarth more room to run. We've seen a bunch of different tight ends get involved, and more QB power. Rumpfo, more room. Simon Rumpfo in for a 
second of the day. Hawking uses the speed. Great job by those. Luke Skokna getting the block. Offensive line getting the block. And another touchdown for UND on the quarterback power. Morrissey dropping back again, trying to get away from the pressure and does. And then fires on the sideline. It's juggled and caught. Oh, <laughs> what a catch for Donald McKinney. Schuster back to work here on first and 10. All sorts of time. Floating it out and Jack Wright all by himself at the 10-yard line. Tries to put on the brakes. North Dakota back in the Hugo's red zone once again. Skogna dashing to the outside. Luke Skogna into the end zone. Touchdown. Luke Skogna. Good to see him back out there. You can see he's getting confident again. Can you just get that reception for Jackson? To late handoff again. And Glantz has some room this time. And the most room by far for a Western Illinois running back is Glantz. Pressure comes. Morrissey fires. Parker there. Touchdown. For its first touchdown of the day. Oh, and Parker's going to go out, and then you're going to come back in on that. It's a man-to-man -man coverage. Hunt the carry again. Going to bounce it to the outside to midfield. And Hunt breaking away, and he has shown this ability in spot duty. Rompfo charging towards the goal line. And the Rompfos have made it their day. Simon with two, and now Grant with his first. These guys work so hard. This is their opportunity to get in and, and make plays. And their teammate, they needed that confidence back. They needed to get back to playing their style of football. And you know, I think this is just what the doctor ordered for uh, going into Bison Week next week. North Dakota comes out strong, finishes things in the second half. 49-10 the final over Western Illinois. Bubba Schwagert. Picking up his 57th win.